Today I want to take you through the Neuron Writer one-click blog post tool. So the AI writing tools in Neuron Writer uh, can be pretty powerful, but I'm not sure that everybody utilizes them as much as they should. So I want to just jump right in and show you how to create a one-click blog post in Neuron Writer, do a couple of tweaks to it, and turn a pretty well-optimized post into one that has a good chance at beating the competition in Google. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with a new query. And this is where you would typically start off all of your work in Neuron Writer is by entering a query um, that you're going to use to rank. So in this case, uh, I want to create some content and I'm going to write an article called Blogging versus YouTube Channel. So I click Start. And it starts the content query. Over on the far right here, you can see how long you can see the percentage of the optimization that's occurred. It's going out, it's checking the SERPs. And then we'll come up with the top 10 competitors that are trying to rank for this particular content query. So you can see the content competition score is a two. Uh, the lower the number, the easier it should be for you to rank for your particular content query. So let's look, open it up. And you can just scroll through and you can see these, these boxes are checked. They're, they're the top 10 articles that are ranking for this query. That's who you're going to have to rank against. And I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to check any other boxes or look at any other content. We'll just go with uh, what uh, Neuron Writer suggests that we use. So now you click Update Competitor Selection and Continue. So once you get into the content writing area, this is where you can access your one-click blog post capability of Neuron Writer. So we just want to make sure that you, you click in the content area, you place your cursor there. Um, the interesting thing is here, I want to just point this out, these are actually clickable tabs. If you're not familiar with it, Neuron Writer or don't have a lot of experience in it, uh, it's not readily available that these are clickable. Uh, you know, they have some graphical highlights there to help you with that, but it's very easy to sort of forget they're even there. So if you click on the AI writing, you have two tabs. You have a standard and you have an advanced tab. So the advanced tab is where you're going to find your one-click long-form article. So it says, you know, use this for a long-form article you'll typically get a content score around 60 points. So you'll notice that the competitor's best score is a 74. So we'll go ahead and we'll start our long form article. So the only thing that we need to do is add our title. So we're gonna go ahead and put in blogging versus you YouTube channel. I'm going to leave everything else exactly the way uh, it has been set up by Neuron Writer. I'm going to choose a neutral tone of voice. But the thing that you want to be aware of is before you click write for me, you want to look at generation settings. So if you click on this, you can set the creativity level. I typically leave it at high. Now, if you leave it at high, just realize you do want to go in and fact check the article. Uh, the more creativity, the higher the level of creativity, uh, the more fact checking that you need to do typically. Now, here's one thing. You can pick the uh, language model that you want um, your article to be written in. By default, it's GPT 3.5. 
Now, you can use GPT-4. It does use more writing credits. So you want to be aware of that. They also caution you that they discourage using GPT-4 in the advanced templates like one-click article. There is the chance that it could time out. Uh, so that's the thing to be aware of. I typically use GPT-3.5. I did try a one-click article with GPT-4. Uh, it was very slow to be written. Um, and I think it did time out on me as well. So for now, I'm going to go with a high level of creativity, and I'm going to choose the 3.5 language model. So let's just click right for me. And we'll wait for a few minutes while it updates this article. Just in the interest of time, uh, I'll probably edit out uh, the time that it's taking to do the writing. All right, the article is done. It probably took a minute and a half to two minutes. Now, if we go and we look at the score, the score is a 46. The competitor's best is 74. Now, the next thing that I would do is I would take this H1, I would copy it. I would go into my meta tab and I would add the, the H1 title and I'd put it in the title of the document as well. Notice that jumps the score up to 66. Obviously, you'd wanna add a meta description as well. I'm not gonna do that right now, just in the interest of time. So we're still below the score of 74. We really like to exceed that score to get a better chance of ranking against the competition. So there's one last trick that I wanna show you. Uh, I've done a video on this before. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's only gonna take me a couple seconds to show you how to uh, bump up the score considerably. So what I do is I go scroll down to the bottom of the article right before the conclusion, enter FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, give it an H2 he heading, drop down below that, place your cursor below the H2 heading of the FAQ. Now, go back to the AI Writing tab over on the right-hand side of the screen, click the back arrow, so now we're back in the advanced writing tools. This is what I do next. I use FAQ with unused terms. So it's generate an FAQ trying to include the unused terms. Here's what it means by unused terms. It's these content terms. So you have basic content terms. Those are all the ones that you really want to use to boost your score. The extended terms also help boost your SEO score, SEO optimization score, not quite as much, but they do help. And then you also have terms and headers. And in the terms and headers, the H1 terms you don't need to worry about, but what that FAQ is going to do is go in and try to grab some of these H2 terms to help boost your score when it builds the FAQ. So go back to the AA Writing tab, like I said, we're, you need to be in Advanced tab. Click FAQ with Unused Terms. It'll have your title already in place. And then it starts showing you some of these terms that it's going to use. I don't even concern myself with that. I go ahead and go with whatever Neuron Writer says it should use. I typically just use the neutral tone of voice. Again, you have a choice of a language model to pick. I have written FAQs in GPT-4. Uh, they do use more writing credits. I didn't find that the uh, FAQs were really that much better in GPT-4 than what it was doing in the GPT-3.5 model, so I, I will stick with this one. And now I'm gonna click Write for Me. So it's going to take a few uh, minutes to generate that FAQ, and then we'll go ahead and take a look and see how that affects our overall SEO optimization score. 
And that happened very fast, faster than I thought it would. That's great. So now after adding the FAQ, we're up to a 71. So you could just roll with the article just like it is. I would highly recommend that you go in and check it and make sure the data is factual. Um, and then again, this is your basis to, to also continue to optimize the article if you want. So again, you could go back to the content terms, the basic and extended terms. You could look at all your headings, see if there's ways that you can bump up your score through uh, adjusting some of the headings. So that's about it for a one-click blog post. Uh, basically, it's an advanced AI writing tool. Go there, generate your one-click blog post, make sure you put in your meta title, and then go back to your AI advanced writing tools and generate an FAQ. Just doing those things brings your score up to a 71 for this particular uh, content query, which was blogging versus YouTube channel. So that's it. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, take care.